Welcome back guys, Kingdom Come Deliverance Part 2 received a major update in the form of patch 1.2 a couple of weeks ago that added support for mods, a barber mode and DLSS 4. I have tested the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Now they are using an older version of DLSS Upscaler. It's the version that comes with model preset J. So I would recommend overriding DLSS Subscaler via NVIDIA app instead of using the game's default DLSS Subscaler. This is the update log for patch 1.2, optimized streaming of NPC visuals especially in Gothenburg, fix late game data in Gothenburg due to various reputation problems. In this video, I'll be testing the game in Gothenburg. The game does support FSR 3.1 but does not support FSR frame generation. I'll also update my OptiScale FSR frame generation guide. Just need to set the model preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of DLSS 4. To verify DLSS subscalers details like its version and model preset, I'll be using DLSS debug overlay. To enable this overlay, I'll execute the registry code provided by Emus. Just copy these lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from dot txt to dot reg hit enter yes right click open with notepad paste the lines here click on file click on save close and run this registry file this will enable the dlss debug overlay if you want to disable it just replace the number 4 here with 0 like this click on file save close and run this registry file i'll revert the change as i want to enable the dlss debug overlay right click open yes ok done here first i'll run the game without any mods show you the base game performance we are in in game settings full hd resolution full screen mode overall image quality high in Gothenburg, if you set the image quality to ultra vram usage will exceed 8 gb my gpu only has 8 gb of memory stick with high we sync off dlss4 upscaler selected using its transformer model you can select the older model as well CNN stick with transformer using the upscaler's quality mode motion blur and depth of field disable advanced setting everything set to high post processing quality I'll just set it to low confirm I'll straight away jump into Gutenberg using afterburner overlay to show you the performance metrics there's my dog mutt Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. I'll traverse Gutenberg on horseback. Model preset used is J. Version of the upscaler 310.1.0. This is the version of the upscaler that the game comes with. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Auto exposure setting is on. Just make sure you have not activated the local hero perk. It's known to cause stuttering in the game, especially in Gutenberg area. Yeah, VRAM usage is close to 7.1 GB. I am observing some texture shimmering on the rooftops. I'll just follow the path. Head to the marketplace. It's nearby. In many open world games, we have seen the performance tank in heavily populated areas. NPCs can choke the CPUs. Games like Stalker 2, Dragon Stalker 2, the third act of Baldur's Gate 3. Hey, the performance is good. Look at that 1% low, close to 100 FPS. This is amazing. And this is the game running without frame generation. <laughs> With frame generation on, expect an FPS close to 180. <laughs> My horse, <laughs> it's gasping for breath. Okay, I am observing some texture pop in issue. NPCs appearing out of thin air. I have even tested the game on my Steam Deck. FPS stays within a range of 30 to 40. 800p resolution. FSR 3 upscaler set to quality. A game that looks as good as this, being playable on Steam Deck, is nothing short of amazing. I even tested it on ROG Ally. On Ally, you can run the game at 900p resolution and even set some settings to medium. The game is very nicely optimized. I often test games that use Unreal Engine 5. Majority of them suffer from traversal stutters. The biggest problem about these unoptimized games is that even when you run them on the lowest possible settings, 
performance doesn't improve much, the game still stutters, and the graphics look comparable to a PlayStation 3 game. Made it to the marketplace. Yeah, there are a lot of non playable characters here. Performance is still good. FPS is close to 100. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to enable OptiScaler FSR frame generation, which I'll be combining with DLSS for Upscaler. I'll be using the latest nightly build of OptiScaler mod. You can download it for free from OptiScaler's GitHub page. I'll give its link in the description. Just expand the asset section here. Click on the dot 7 z link. 0.7.7 preview 7 20250331. Open the mod's archive file. Just copy the highlighted files. Three of them. Need to paste them in the games installed directory. Select the game in your Steam library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open bin folder. Open win64 master master steam pgo folder. Paste the mod files here. Change the name of optiscaler.tll to dxgi.tll. Open optiscaler.ini file. From here, you need to set fg type to optifg. dx12 upscaler set to dlss can be changed from the mod menu as well. Click on file, click on save, close. That's it. We are done with the mods installation. It's not mandatory to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting for using OptiScale FSR frame generation, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable it. Right click anyway on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings, from this drop down bar select Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, scroll down until you find Low Latency Mode setting, just set it to Ultra, this game does not support Reflex, so I'll just use LLM, scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here, apply the changes, my monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it, click on Setup G-Sync, I'll enable the following settings, enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible, enable for full screen mode, I enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. It's optional. Click on display here and check this setting G-Sync compatible indicator. Now I'll show you how to override DLSS subscaler. Just open NVIDIA app. Click on graphics here. Click on the three dots. Click on refresh. It will load up all of the games that are installed on your PC. From this list, you need to select Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. There it is. Scroll down to the end. We need to access DLSS override model preset setting and just click on the pencil icon next to it. Select the second option, use different settings for each DLSS technology. Click on the drop down bar below super resolution and select latest here. Click on apply. That's it. Just make sure afterburner or RTSS is not running in the background. Otherwise, OptiScaler's hotfix won't work properly. I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. Still using the same settings, full HD resolution, upscale set to DLSS4, transformer model. Everything set to high except for post process quality, set to low. Jump into code and work. Yeah, we are in. Check out the DLSS debug overlay. Render preset used is K, version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Auto explore setting is on. So, NVIDIA app method of overriding DLSS upscaler work. FPS is close to 108. I'll just enable OptiScale FSR frame generation. Open its menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Upscale selected DLSS frame generation OptiFG. Make sure auto exposure and HDR settings are on. In order to enable OptiFG, just check FG active setting. First, I'll test the game with FG hotfix setting on and limit value set to 1. Check FG allow async setting as well. This setting was a bit unstable in the Older versions of OptiScaler used to cause the game to crash. This does not happen now. Improves frame generation's performance. I'll just enable the FG hotfix setting. Save INI to save the settings. Displays for all of the images are working properly. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for the DLSS debug overlay as it's not a part of the game's interface. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. So FSR smoothing effect should work properly but there is one problem in this game whenever henry is low on hp or stamina fsr smoothing effect stops working due to this vignette like effect 
that occurs around the corners of the screen. Carefully observe the color palette of the bottom middle and bottom right images. It's different. I'll just disable the debug view. Play the game. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. Crosshair is not flickering. FPS increased to around 160. Games hard elements are not flickering. Just disable the DLSS debug overlay after verifying the upscaler's details. I'll just run out of stamina. Sprint around. Yeah, smoothing effect is not working now. This is not 160 FPS, close to 100 FPS. That smoothness is gone. There is one way to fix this issue. Open OptiScale mod menu. Just set the FG hardfix value to 4. Show you the debug view. Resume the game. I'll just run out of stamina. Now observe the color palette of the bottom middle and bottom right images. It's exactly the same. Smoothing effect will not get disabled when Henry runs out of HP or stamina. Let's just play the game. Limit value 4 is not perfect. Just observe the crosshair. Yeah, it's flickering. The effect is not very aggressive. In this game, we have the option to disable the crosshair completely. I'll show you this. Go to game settings. Just set visible crosshair to no. Confirm. Yes. If you use melee weapons, <laughs> this should not be a problem. But if you use a ranged weapon, it will be a bit difficult for you. I'll just run out of stamina. Sprint around. Yeah, smoothing effect is still working. In the older version of the game, the weapon HUD icon at the bottom side of the display used to show up in the bottom middle image of OptiScaler debug view. It used to flicker when we enable OptiScale FSR frame generation. However, this does not happen in the latest version of the game. Issue has been fixed. Just traverse the city on horseback. OptiScale FSR frame generation even works on PCs with AMD GPUs. I have already tested it on my ROG Ally that has Radeon 780M GPU. It even works on Steam Deck. On those devices, you can't use TLSS, but you can use XCSS or even FSR3, entirely up to you. FSR3 produces some texture shimmering in this game. As this game does not support NVIDIA Reflex, I enable Ultra Low Latency Mode from NVIDIA Control Panel. This setting combined with NVIDIA Control Panel Vsync caps the game's FPS to a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. For example, if your display supports up to 144Hz refresh rate, FPS will be capped at 138. My display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, so the FPS will be capped at 225. This is done in order to achieve a smooth looking animation with low latency. In Gutenberg, NPCs still spawn out of thin air. FPS stays in a range of 160 to 170. This is RTX 2070 Super GPU, almost 6 years old. Very impressive. Mod works very nicely. So that's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.